guys, Jennifer here. I am putting together a junk journal. I thought I would take you along for the ride. This junk journal is a custom order and I really need to get working on it. So I wanted to uh, kind of show you how I am making this one. There's so many different ways to make one, but you know, if you felt like watching or joining along as I created or just you know keeping me company and vice versa then then this is great so I'm using some old packaging this is like a uh, one of those sturdy envelopes that you can send documents and stuff if you've received any of my paper packs I always send them in these and I had this envelope left over and I thought I would use it as the cover now based on the size it was I was basically only able to make a one inch spine so it is going to have somewhat of an open mouth a little bit but I don't mind that if if that you know if you don't like that then you can cut your internal pages down a little bit and make your spine a little wider or you can use chipboard but I just thought I would use what I had and I thought I could fit these two signatures in here and these signatures I've basically put together already and I think I might add some more stuff to them because right now all I have is some coffee dyed papers in here and okay I've got Ledger, I've got some music um, paper here, and then I've got a doily. Oh, I've got a glassine bag, uh, tracing paper, and then this is avocado dyed paper. So I think, let's see, that gives me how many? Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, it's like ten pages, which I guess if you're including the bags and stuff, it's twelve, which is twenty-two. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven pages. Um. I think I might add some book pages, maybe a couple of, um, a couple more. The thing is, is once you start decorating the pages, you know, it's going to fill up pretty quick. So right now it's pretty perfect for the journal and you can see the signatures fit in there perfectly. I do like a little bit of the papers sticking out especially when they're torn like that I just think that looks so cool but I might be putting lace on some of these my idea for this journal um uh well it's going to be I'm not even 100% sure but uh, the lovely lady would like peaches and creams and stuff. So I have this old um, paper line. It's the uh, Ladies Diary. I'm sure you've seen people create with this line, but I had it in my stash and I thought I could use some of the images from here. Like this is gorgeous. I was thinking about putting this image right here on the front. And using some of the journaling cards throughout. I love this paper. Some of it is a little much for me, but I was thinking about using like these pretty papers. And then I was contemplating using this image because that image is gorgeous as well. And this is beautiful, this rose. So anyway, it was gonna be like a peachy pink and I have this gorgeous fabric that I thought would go well with it. And I have an old kit from Doreen, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, you guys. 
and I have all of these elements that are from her kit that I'm going to be using in this journal. So I just thought I would show you some of the things I'll be using. Yeah, she made this kit long ago and it has been in my hoard vault. <laughs> but I was like, this is just perfect to go with this. So it's a very pretty, um, I guess like a peachy pink nude color. This rosette is like a gray. So anyway, I just busted it out and I'm gonna use as many elements as I can from Doreen's kit. And I will take you on this journey. So, let me see to decide how I'm gonna cover the cover. <clears throat> So I think what I planned on using, I had this in my stash. This is a really cool looking um, pillow sham that I got thrifting. And I was taking it apart the other day. It's got a real thick, kind, of somewhat padded feel to it. So I was thinking I could use that um, to cover, because I was going to use that peachy fabric that you could see right through. So I just thought this would be kind of cool to use as a cover. So let me go ahead and cut that out. Oh, this thing is too big, you guys, so I can't really cut it up there. Okay. Well, I finally broke into this. I don't even know how long I've had that, you guys. But I definitely needed... Ooh. Barely cut enough to cover. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, definitely give yourself that extra bit, which I think I did, so it should be good. So I don't know if I'm going to do both sides like that. I don't think so. Look how pretty that is. It looks so gorgeous as a cover. So much texture. So pretty. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and glue that before I sew it. I really would like to use that peach, but I'm not sure of that other fabric here. This fabric is really pretty color. So I'm like, hmm. Do I use it on this side? See, now you can see that brown color through. So I might have to line it with like a muslin. So maybe a 
Oh yeah, I had this napkin piece that I was gonna use, I think to cover the inside first. This is such a nice textured napkin though. For that, mm -hmm. I hear my birdie. Wish I could have the windows open, you guys. It'd be so sweet to hear him. All right, we're gonna, I guess, glue that down. That goes right through. We're not going to see this fabric, so that's okay. I love when the edge edges are like really frayed anyway, so I'm going to trim this off, which I probably should have done now. Hmm. I'm going to have to sew outside there too. All right, guys, I have sewn the edge. I sewed it as close as I could to the um, board there. And it looks really nice. I think at the end I'll be, you know, trimming it back. And then I went ahead and cut this fabric that I had. This fabric. I got from Crafty Me Shop on Facebook. I will leave a link to Ula La Vintage Treasures um, and Crafty Me Shop. I have this really pretty fabric from her shop. I think you guys are really gonna love the stuff that I'm working with from Ula La Vintage Treasures, but I know she can't make that kit again because that was many moons ago. But she does have a kit club if you're interested. Um, I think she's going to be starting another kit club here soon, a next round, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use some score tape. You could use double-sided tape or that, infu that fusible web uh, that you can iron on, but I just thought this would be good to hold in place until I can sew and then you won't see the I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna see if I can do the
thinking I don't want my needle to be going through it. Probably should have. All right, so I just want to stick it down here, I think. All right, you know, I just figured that this would help without being able to see through that pretty fabric. And I'll just keep it down. All right, so now I'm just gonna sew the edge here. And then I will have my cover, yay! Okay guys, I have this all attached now, the inside lining. It's not perfectly straight, but it is really pretty. And now I can go ahead and fix the edge if I want to. And because I sewed really close to the edge, you won't be able to see the um, the chipboard piece or the, the envelope piece. All right, so super pretty. I'm gonna trim that down and then we will be on our way to the next step of creating this journal.